Hello, Brad Zanders here from the Subside Electronics Product Support Group. And what I want to talk to you about for a few minutes is the roll calibration feature that we have inside of our TK series trackers. And what this feature does, it gives the user the ability to change the way the tracker reads the beacon roll, um, depending on how the beacon is setting in the, in the housing, or uh, if there was any shimming or anything necessary to get that housing made up to a transition sub or the drill pipe. So basically the way this feature works is if the beacon is in the housing, and you have the bit pointed at 12 o'clock and you see like for instance here that this beacon's flashing between 12 30 and 1 and we want to make it 12 o'clock all you do is make sure your housing's rolled to 12 and if you go inside of the menu on the tk tracker here go down to beacon go down to roll calibration select that and if what you see here on this screen if i just quickly hit setup it's going to change the way the tracker's reading the beacon roll and make that position 12 o'clock. Um, you won't see any change here, so what I'm going to do, and I'll talk about these other two here first, is go ahead and hit setup. Notice it did back up to the roll calibration menu, so if I just back out to the main screen, you can see now that my tracker's now switched to 12 o'clock. So even though it bounced just a little bit there, uh, the beacon I have sitting on the ground is just on the verge of one to switch. So it's showing 12 o'clock and that's how you use the roll calibration, pretty simple. Now, if I wanted to go back in and clear it, go back to beacon, go to roll calibration again, hit the down arrow for clear, back out to the walkover. Now it's back to the one or it was showing 1230 earlier. So one of the things I want to mention, we've talked about quick sleep mode before, which is where you would park a beacon at five o'clock if you want to put the beacon asleep in five minutes. If you roll cal your tracker, change the roll calibration, that quick, quick sleep indicator is going to move to a different position. So now notice now that the beacon's showing three o'clock, which is typically what a beacon shows when it's in the side load housing and the lid is up. Go back into the menu, go to beacon, roll calibration, showing three o'clock here, hit setup, back out to the walkover screen. You can see we've now made that 12 o'clock. And like I mentioned, my quick sleep indicator has now switched to the two o'clock position. So if I wanted to put this beacon to sleep in five minutes, I would just roll the beacon to the two o'clock or to wherever that quick sleep mode indicator is and the beacon would fall asleep in five minutes. Let's go back in and clear that. Back out, and it's now back to three o'clock. So if you ever see your, uh, your tracker roll is off and you have your tool head at 12 o'clock and you have a TK series tracker, that's one of the quickest things to double check. And if you can remember and you notice that this quick sleep indicator is not at the five o'clock position, which is where it normally resides, then that tracker you have has been roll caled and it's a simple fix just through the menu like I just showed you. So hopefully that helps you with roll calibration. Okay, hopefully you found that video beneficial. If you have any more further questions, I'd encourage you to contact your local dealer. Uh, they can assist you as well. Uh, you're welcome to always contact Subside Electronics Product Support Group, and we'd be more than happy to help you. Uh, also, don't forget about checking out other videos on the Subside Electronics YouTube page.